What's up, fellas? We're uh, westbound and down on the interstate heading to Pensacola. Going to go over to the JY, pick up a few things for the for the projects at the house. And uh, we're going to meet the pirate and uh, Rodney over there. And uh, see what transpires. Just come up on this little, uh, I think it's a Toyota Tercel. It's Vance Life, yo. Anyway, we'll have more later, and then I'll give you an update on the trooper car when I get home tonight. Get some more stuff done on it. I've been working on it. I just ain't made no videos about it. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so on the LTD. So I uh, drove it over to Pensacola this morning. Actually, when I started out, I left the house, and uh, I get out on the street going to, to uh, Pensacola, and I noticed the battery light comes on. I'm looking at the gauge, charging. The voltmeter says uh, 14 and a half volts, but the battery lights on in the dash. So I'm like, shit. So I come, turn around, come back, pull in the driveway, and I lift the hood up. I seat both connectors on the uh, alternator, and the light goes out. It's great. So I left again, drove over there, uneventful, and. Uh, Went over there, went to the junkyard, picked up a bunch of, well, a few things, and then went to eat, and then went to the facility, and then I stopped at Brandon's house to help him with his Miata, and I drove home. All, all good, no issues. I noticed the wideband uh, wasn't working, and sometimes, because that thing is getting a little oil on it from the two of them cylinders, the wideband will stop, but if I just give her the gas, go through one of the gears, you know, like third, it'll clear, kind of clear off and then it'll be fine. So I left the four way down here about a mile from the house, went through first and second, just normally got into third and I kind of laid into it. And just about the time it's getting around five grand or so, there was uh, a pretty loud noise followed by more grinding, clatter, you know, just ugly. I looked, I had oil pressure, no smoke behind me. So I just kind of coasted. The transmission wouldn't, it was just making a lot of racket. So uh, I coasted almost all the way home. I got like 100 yards from the house. And I kind of, I walked home, I was just a little upset. So uh, I walked home and uh, told the wife to come and help me. I was just gonna get the lawnmower and pull it back home. And uh, so I just walked, I walked down to the car and uh, I've been trying, let me try the gears. You know, I started it and uh, nothing in first, second, third, put it in fourth. I had, it moved. I said, all right, shit, now get me home. So I went, got it, got it in the driveway and uh, <clears throat> it's, it's terminal, whatever it is. I don't, it kind of looks or feels like the, uh, on the trooper car, when I broke it on the starting line up at Holt. I didn't have any forward gears but fourth, and I don't think it had, didn't have reverse either. So uh, I'm sure it can be fixed. I didn't, you know, like try to run it too much afterwards. I just tried to do gears. So whatever in there that broke didn't get chewed up a whole, didn't chew up a whole bunch of other stuff, I hope. So uh, I don't know when I can get it out because this thing, I can't readily move it. Um, uh, and I have the transmission from this I could put in there, but this whole thing, this whole episode's got me kind of shook now. You know, do I want to put a 347 in that car that's that heavy when it can break on street tires? So, uh, I might revise my, where my engines are going. Uh, I'll have to think about it a little more. But, uh, that's the, uh, what's going on with it. I'll, uh. I took a little video when it broke, when I was coasting down the street, and I'll put that up at the end of this thing. But uh, yeah, it's 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 ugly, and it just you know I thought like watching Brad run that, um, just a stock T5 in his car with a 331. I thought yeah, it could probably be all right, but now yeah, maybe not so much. I don't not liking this idea. 
obviously the, uh, the clear option to keep the 347 in there would be to put a uh, what do you call a TKX, but those are those are spendy. So uh, anyway, I'll think about it. Just letting you know what's going on with it. Um, and I'll, like I said, I'll include the video at the end of this. <laughs> you can see what it how ugly it sounds. All right, appreciate y'all. Later. This is not this is not a good sign. <laughs> Yeah, that's bad. Damn it.